Hi, I'm Uncle Ted, your Ice Cream Alchemist with Ice Cream Every Day, and this is Seaweed Pineapple Ice Cream. Now, the green is Pandan. I actually used Pandan in one batch and pineapple in the other. Now, I haven't made a video in a while, and there's a reason for that. And I came out of my hiatus for another very good reason. This ice cream is going to be different. And yeah, seaweed, sure, it sounds disgusting, but I tell you what, don't knock it till you try it. It's actually very good stuff. And the entire reason that I came out of retirement and got to make an ice cream once again is because a very special little girl. She had a blood test last week. They found elevated levels of lead in her system. And what do you do with a two-year-old that has elevated lead? Now, they found the source. They found out how it got in her blood system. The next step is we got to get the lead out of her system. Now, yeah, there's drugs for that, but the best thing to do is to give the kid something good to eat. Now, what they found was iron and calcium will help get lead out of a child's system. Well, anybody, but we're talking about a two-year-old girl here. She's not going to eat liver, she's not going to want to eat spinach, and she's not going to eat shellfish. So we had to figure out another way. So what I came up with was ice cream, obviously. I'm an ice cream guy. And bite for bite, you'll find that seaweed has a lot of iron in it. It's very iron rich. So what I did was I came up with seaweed pineapple ice cream. Now, this video is going to be a little different. The ice cream that I make is going to be a little different, and there's a lot of procedures that go with it. So I understand that, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch, but just bear with me on this because it's worth it. And I got to admit, the first time that I watched that little girl take a bite of ice cream and say yum, that made my day. So thank you for all the support. Just watch the video, and you know what? When it comes time to make some ice cream, now you know how. Alright, so let's go ahead and run through our ingredients. Now this is the pineapple syrup. I made this last night and I let it cool in the fridge for 24 hours. That is the seaweed that I stewed in milk, then pureed in a food processor and once again let that cool for 24 hours as well. We got our gourd gum. I'm going to use honey for this instead of sugar because I want the natural sweetness. Then I've got my powder of my vanilla powder and then my xanthan gum, as well as the crushed pineapple that I have drained as much as humanly possible because obviously I needed that liquid for the syrup. And then I've got my heavy whipping cream and my milk. So those are the ingredients that go into this. Oh, in the background you see there that is the seaweed that I rehydrated and haven't really needed all of it because I didn't realize that seaweed would rehydrate to about five times its size. So yeah, I'm going to be eating a lot of seaweed, I think, this week, which ain't bad. I mean, it's not bad for you. I just, I don't really need that much iron in my system. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the seaweed. Uh, this is seaweed I got at the Asian market. There's a lot of different kinds you can get out there. Essentially, it comes down to this. You've got the medium-sized, which is what I've got, and uh, you can use the larger ones, but just keep in mind it's going to be a little woodier and you're going to have some issues with size and everything. So you're going to want to go with the medium size seaweed, this Waikime. Now I'll just take it and I broke it up a little bit before putting it into cool water. Keep in mind you're going to use cool water, not warm water. And this actually swells up very quickly. Now I could have gotten away with a quarter of this package and I ended up putting the whole thing in which yeah I ate a lot of seaweed for a while it doesn't go well with turkey but uh, it's wonderful in Asian soups like miso or in a beef soup a good white beef broth but uh, once I had it soaking I took it out cut it up with a pair of scissors and that's when I added it to a pan with about three cups of milk I use whole milk and I cut it up, like I said, with a pair of scissors before doing that. And I also kind of squeezed out some of the water because I didn't want to put a bunch of extra water in with the milk. So I made sure to squeeze the handfuls out before putting them in. I put about, I would say, three and a half to four cups of seaweed into the milk. 
Once I added the seaweed to the milk, I let it stew for about 30 minutes at low heat. I didn't let it boil. Stirred it once in a while to make sure the milk didn't stick. And after it was done, I mean, seaweed cooks fairly quickly, so it was done in 30 minutes. I let it cool off enough to handle. I pureed it in the food processor. Then I put it in the fridge to chill for 24 hours. Next, we move on to the pineapple. What I did was I had a can of chunk pineapple. You can use crushed pineapple, that probably works better, but I think the chunk pineapple has more juice in it, and I'm using the unsweetened kind. Because I don't, I mean, I want to be in control of the sugar I'm adding. So I just put it in a strainer, and strained it as best as I could into a container. Then after a while, I took the chunks, put them through a food processor, and crushed them as best as I could. I, I was going for a puree. And then after that, I put that back in the strainer and then I gave it a little bit of a toss. I let it sit for a while because it's going to take some time. I played with it, put my you know spatula in there, moved it around a bit, shook it around, tossed it around, whatever you got to do. Basically I want to get as much of the juice out of the pineapple as I can because I'm going to be using that stuff later on. Next I needed to cook down the pineapple juice with sugar. Now Obviously, I used a pan that was way too small. Like I said, I'm rusty at this, so I ended up putting it in a bigger pan later on. But what we're doing is a 2 to 1 ratio, so for one cup of pineapple juice, we're using two cups of sugar by volume. And then we just put that in there and we cook it down. Make sure to keep stirring. Uh, I didn't want to do this as a hard boil. I wanted to do it as a slow, gentle heat because I didn't want to scorch anything. But it's going to take some time, and eventually, obviously, it'll start to boil, but we want as much water cooked out of it as possible. And when we're done, we're left with a syrup. Now, the syrup I then poured into a metal container, and I put in the refrigerator for 24 hours. When I got done, I had something that was rather incredible. It, it actually tastes like the pineapple flavoring from a Dum Dum Sucker, if you remember those. As you can see, it comes out like taffy. It's kind of fun to play with. Now, I'm out of time for this video. I'm going to post a second video. That'll be part two. I do want to thank you for watching this first video. And stay with me on the second video, and we'll bring it all together for something wonderful. Thank you.